And check out the view from the CTV Skywatch camera looking out to the west there. And yes, we've got showers. We've got thunder showers. We just heard a big boom. It seemed to be right above the studio here at CTV Lethbridge. So they're out there. 12 degrees is where we're at. Our barometric pressure is falling. Our humidity is rising. And yes, we have a storm on the way. 12 degrees is where we're at right now, but our high was 19. We hit that at 3 p.m. and then dropped off. 4 degrees was our low, and we hit that at 3 a.m. this morning. So starting to see a temperature uh, hit here, uh, cooling down, of course. Uh, up top, we've got that northerly flow as uh, we've got this rotation about around this big low. Now, here's the core of the low continues to try to push inwards, but it's kind of stalled. So we were hoping this would speed up and then move through our area rather quickly, giving us nice clear skies for the weekend. Right now it looks like we're going to be picking up some disturbances from the Cascade Mountains as well, are going to be helping to feed this low in the rotation from the south to the north. So we've got a few days of some instability. It looks like Thursday we'll have periods of rain. And then as we get into the weekends, not that we won't have any sunshine, we'll get some sunny breaks. But we have that lingering instability. So don't expect a lot of sunshine expect more cloud cover and expect that chance of shower activity. Right now it looks right through the weekend unless this system moves through faster and of course we're going to continue to monitor the rotational speed of that system over the next few days. But right now we are looking at uh, some heavy pockets of precipitation. You can see that there and even in the higher elevations that snow rain combination that we saw last weekend and the weekend before in those areas between Banff and Jasper specifically that's what it looks like now but some other areas in the southeast corner of BC in the higher elevations could be seeing uh, some snowfall as well. So a real mixed bag of conditions for the next few days. Nine degrees in St. John's. We've got frost warnings out for almost all of New Brunswick. That was uh, in position for Quebec yesterday, but it's moved over into the Maritimes. In behind that, 25 degrees is what they hit in Toronto today for a high, but they're also seeing periods of rain tonight and into tomorrow as well. 17 degrees in Winnipeg, and they're going to have some uh, rain showers there uh, overnight tonight because of a low that's moving up from the Dakotas. 19 in Regina, 22 in Saskatoon. Further north you get in, Sask in Saskatchewan rather and into Alberta over the next few days will be the sunnier locations. We've got rain in Victoria and Vancouver. We've got a, a sun and cloud mix right now in Whitehorse and they also had that in Yellowknife today. Overnight forecast. Here we go. Fasten your seat belts. We've got cloudy skies with a chance of showers for East Kootenai tonight. 8 degrees for a low, 14 for a high tomorrow. Mainly cloudy with that chance of showers. Heavier on the cloud cover, uh, but a few rays of sunshine expected. Crow's Nest Pass, cloudy tonight. Shower, thunder shower activity. 9 degrees for a low, 14 tomorrow. May see the odd ray of sunshine, but be prepared for that shower, thunder shower activity to redevelop. Medicine Hat, showers, thunder showers expected tonight. 11 degrees degrees for a low and then tomorrow mainly cloudy some evening showers turning into or some afternoon showers rather turning into some evening shower thunder shower activity and here in Lethbridge we're looking at uh, the shower thunder shower activity tonight nine degrees for a low tomorrow starting off with a sun and cloud mix and then showers developing later in the day chance of that thunder shower activity and highs of between 17 and 21 is what it looks like now for tomorrow across the Lethbridge region and then we get into that risk of precipitation as we we head into Thursday looking like periods of rain and then a chance of shower activity into Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And right now it's looking like periods of rain for Monday. So very, very unstable for the next few days. It's not that we're not going to see any sunshine, but it's going to be in very limited amounts is the way it looks right now. Now, if you've been, uh, you know, routinely shampooing your pet, but they still seem to be scratching at their skin, it might be that you're using the wrong shampoo. Perfumes and additives that are good for your hair are not good for your pet. So check with your vet about that. And that's our focus on safety message. Stay dry, everyone, and have an umbrella handy. I'll talk to you tomorrow.